thing that we put off or that we really don't feel like doing, when we do it and get it done in the end, it makes us feel so much better. God doesn't put certain visions and things on our mind for no reason, especially if it's within alignment with his will. There's no way that you just keep visioning about that thing, dreaming about that thing that he keeps putting on your heart to do. There's a reason and a purpose for that. And I feel like as long as I can envision it and have a crystal clear vision of what this thing looks like, what this woman looks like, the woman that God has called me to be, I know it's obtainable. getting our stuff together we're about to be doing all the things that we've been putting off and procrastinating so let this be your sign that if you got something to do stop procrastinating and come with me as i do everything that i've been putting off y'all this is not even the like vulnerable car talk moment just yet but honestly i just been a little fed up with just procrastinating putting things off that i know i need to do it goes deeper than just you know deep cleaning a car going to the gym consistently and all of that good stuff is really a mixture of just imposter syndrome procrastinating and just a little bit of lack of obedience of what I know like God has been leading me to do so that is what this video is about so here I am y'all I'm choosing discipline over all of the negative feelings and what I feel and what I don't feel and all of that so let's go get done what I need to get done number one on the list it's a car wash. I'm gonna give y'all a before and after, of course, clips of my car and what it's looking like now and how she's gonna look after I get done because right now she looks a hot mess. And you know what? Essence really doesn't deserve this. We're gonna clean the inside, give her a good vacuum, and just really deep clean her. You know, I'm ready for that brand new car feel and look again. Can we get into how cute the freaking nails are? I don't know if I've showed y'all or not because I do have to promo these nails in this video. But freaking shout out to BT Art Box um, nails. These are their press on nails i believe these are like the medium almond or something like that if not i'll correct myself on the screen but they sent me over three different styles of these nails i love that they have them in the different like skin tones they have them like in a lighter pink a nude and then this was like more of a deeper nude color but i'm obsessed i really should have brought me some cuticle oil out because girl but anyways i just wanted to talk about these real quick super cute we'll have my code down in the description box as to where y'all can get these I found exactly what I needed in Dollar Tree. No need to go to Target. I'm literally getting over my cold, but I got these anyway. Then I got these all clear wipes. This is exactly what I was looking for. And I got them in lemon scented. And I got two packs of these um, to clean out the inside of my car. This is literally what I was looking for. And then I also got some Armor All uh, disinfectant spray for my car as well. So that's all that I got. 
and I spent five forty. Look at that. We about to go get the car wash. Better wash. <laughs> Would you like to upgrade your wash? First time in a long time. basically done I've dang there been here the longest but it's okay because the cup holder is completely clean now as y'all can see which I'm super happy about it's been a long time coming but we got it done that's all that matters and that is all that I set out to do I'm about to use this dust cleaning gel and I'm just gonna get the dust from like all around here and then we're gonna be done and i'm gonna reward myself with like some starbucks or something because i'm thirsty but i'm also hungry and then we're gonna finish off the rest of the day the sun is hitting but let me hurry up y'all because i have been here for a long long time and i'm ready to go i don't think it's supposed to like be this sticky i think mine's is honestly getting old because it was not this sticky but we gonna work with it the best that I can. Yeah, I think it's time to get a new one when it gets like this is old. It almost makes me not want to use it, but here I am anyway. Okay, all right, I'm all done. And now we're gonna go to Starbucks, I think. I really, really missed our Starbucks runs together. So I'm excited to be doing that with y'all. And I'm just happy that I got this car wash out of the way, y'all. It feels good just to get something checked off your list that you had done. I don't care if it's like a big task, small task, whatever it is. Do something productive. It'll make you feel so much better. Most of the time, the thing that we put off or that we really don't feel like doing, when we do it and get it done in the end, it makes us feel so much better. Go do something productive. I promise it'll make you feel better. I promise. Because now that my car is super clean and I'm in it, I feel good. I'm happy that I did it. It took a little elbow grease, but we're here. I'm just so happy with Essence, y'all. She looks renewed. I was missing that, you know? Enough was enough. Sometimes it gets easy for me to just get caught up in a feeling behind the task instead of getting it done. Put those negative feelings to the side, y'all, and just do whatever it is you need to get done. So let's go to Starbucks. We deserve it. We was on the Kirbyana. Why does my car sound like, oh, because I just went through the car wash way underneath. I'm like, girl, why is it sounding so squeaky? That's because Essence done got squeaky clean on today. Praise the Lord, because it's been so overdue. It's been so overdue. People turn it on up in here. Y'all ain't wrong. Y'all are not wrong. I kind of want a cake pop too, but that's doing too much. Let's stick to what we said. Hi, thanks for coming to Starbucks today. What can we get for you? Hi, may I please have a um venti pink drink? Can I have- Oh no, I'm so sorry, my bad. I, I'm completely not thinking that the fact is we're out of this strawberry refresher. Um, we're pretty much out of all refreshers. Maybe I'll get a cream version of the Carbo Ribbon Crunch. Okay, you got that. And what size do you like? Um, I'll have a grande for that, please. You got it. Anything else for you? Um, yes. Can I please have extra caramel drizzle in the cup with you that? You got it. Sure, we'll make it good. Anything else for you? And a small water. That'll be all. And a small water. See you up here. Thank you. Thank you. A grande. Wow, y'all. 
Y'all heard that? No refreshers is crazy. I should have went to another Starbucks. The vibe was not a sweet, milky type of drink, y'all. You know what I mean? The vibe was supposed to be like a juice. But we here now. What can we do? I'm just trying to make sure I don't look too oily, y'all. Because I feel like I do. But, um... What was I about to say? I mean, we here now and I done placed the order. Like, why am I still debating and looking at the menu when the nice lady just told me that they're out of all refreshers? <laughs> that should have been my cue. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. This, I haven't ate or drunk nothing today, by the way. <laughs> but, Cheers. And then I just got a cream. This looks so freaking good. Wait a minute. I'm about to put the water down because we got to really get into this. That looks so freaking good. So I just got a cream version of the Caramel Ribbon Crunch. Mmm. So good. It's super close to a vanilla bean with caramel, which I've got that before too. It's one of my favorite. Like, if I want a milky, sweet vanilla vibe with some caramel, it's the caramel wall for me. And I didn't even say that this time. But they understood the assignment. Mm. I'm really craving those chicken soup dumplings. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. Before we go real quick though, I do wanna have like a little vulnerable talk with y'all. Um, They close at nine, so we got a little time. I love Trader Joe's, y'all. There should be a vlog before this vlog coming out where I went for the first time. But y'all, back on getting our stuff together and just being productive. For me, that's what this video was all about. It was about just getting out of my head with how I feel towards wanting to do things and just focusing on what I need to do and just having the discipline to get it done. That's quite plain and simple like i said earlier it gets easy for me to get caught up uh, with how i feel towards specific tasks honestly that's just a crack in the door that you can create to procrastination i'll just be real procrastination you're quite literally almost sending an invitation to procrastination to come into your life when you just get caught up on how you feel and you get stagnant i'm saying that because this is, this is where i have been y'all in the season of my life just focusing on discipline because it's something that i have lacked for a while and consistency as well you know i can be in a groove of getting something done and then boom those two things knock out of the park for me so i've really been trying to work on those two things in this season of my life because god has so much that he wants me to do and that he wants you to do but if we would allow things like how we feel especially negative feelings towards certain things that we need to get done like dictate our life girl like what are we gonna get done you know what i mean especially with me being a freelancer a content creator a small business owner all these different things i quite literally need consistency and discipline aside from that just in my personal life it's so imperative to where god has taken me and you as well he has a plan for you as well and it all boils down to a choice i can choose to let my feelings dictate how i feel and just not get anything done or i can choose to push that to the side be productive and feel better in the end which one it's up to me you know so yeah god has definitely been helping me in this area with just discipline and it's uncomfortable but this is the season for me to be uncomfortable it is in being uncomfortable that blessings are birthed not only that how can you expect new or change or anything like that if you're not willing to be uncomfortable that's something that i've been learning also in this season of my life and when it comes down to choices and things like that these are just things i have to tell myself personally because god has placed me here for a reason and you here for a reason he's placed you here for a purpose and me here for a purpose so ultimately like i said it boils down to choice and just choosing what we want to do and who we want to be ultimately and i have to start doing things that align with where god is showing me and where god is taking me and just as i'm learning you know the woman that he's called me to be what she does what she looks like what she you know what she got going on there are certain choices and steps and moves i have to make towards becoming her ultimately i feel like we look at the greatest version of ourselves as something or someone so far away and that girl ain't far she's not far at all it's just up to me to start doing the things that it takes to get closer to becoming her if that makes sense she's already here it's just a matter of me stepping into her i feel like god doesn't put certain visions and things on our mind for no reason especially if it's within alignment with his will there's no way that you just keep visioning about that thing dreaming about that thing that he keeps putting on your heart to do there's a reason and a purpose for that and i feel like as long as i can envision it and have a 
crystal clear vision of what this thing looks like, what this woman looks like, the woman that God has called me to be, what she's doing, all of that stuff, I know it's obtainable. But like I said, it's just a matter of me doing what it takes to become her. So I guess my question is to you, what are you doing today to become one step closer to that person that God is calling you to be? Because that is the question that I'm actively answering for myself like Kendra what moves are you making today and my brother always says this thing that sticks to me which is it's in the small things and the small things connect to the big things like the smaller things connect to the bigger picture so doing something when you don't feel like doing it that's working on discipline that's getting you a step closer to the greatest version of yourself because the greatest version of yourself when it's start, when it's time to bust moves and God got something for them they there they showing up and they willing to do whatever they need to do according to their assignment at that time without letting their negative feelings dictate you know them getting that done if that makes sense so it's all in the smaller things what are you doing today to add on to become one step closer to that future greater version of yourself and like I said they are not far that woman for me I can't speak for you. That woman is so close. She's so close. I don't look at her like this distant, you know, huge figure that I have to look up to. She's literally right here. I hope that makes sense. I really hope it does. So yeah, thank you for letting me be vulnerable and just sitting here. I'm just, you know, emptying out my thoughts. I want to use my platform as more of an outlet. I've said this before in previous videos. So this is just me acting on everything that I just said um, and just making the choice to do so. There's been so many times where I've thought about picking up my camera and I just haven't. And I feel like when you're closer and closer to that thing that that purpose that assignment that God has been calling you to that thing that God has calling you to do whatever the case is that is when all the negativity will arise the enemy is going to try to throw all the attacks that he can in the world and girl he will not stop he will not stop there has been so much going on I've been back at my like childhood church that I basically grew up in y'all it's been so much going on like God has been speaking to me so so much and so clearly about what it is I'm supposed to be doing and I'm just like Kendra it's literally a matter of you having faith to step out on what he's told you to do y'all that's what I'm choosing to do and I just wanted to kind of sit here I kind of planned that within my video to just sit down and have a vulnerable card talk I did one of these before in one of my vlogs on my channel and not only did that video do well but just me watching it back it just lit a fire in me y'all I've watched that video like several times over again and just listening to myself not to even sound like cocky or nothing because I know that it's God's doing I said that he's gonna do great things with this channel and that he's gonna get the glory ultimately for everything that he's calling me to do but watching that and watching me speak the way I was speaking I was like oh yeah <laughs> God this is you right here this is your doing like this is what you want me to do and this is what I feel compelled to do you know it just it lights a fire in my spirit when I'm doing certain things and that's when I know especially when it's within God's will that's when I know that I'm right where he has to just draw it back in the enemy will throw all type of attacks at you when you're finally stepping into alignment with who he's called you to be a uh, God with who God's called you to be and just when you start acting on those things it won't be easy but it's not about that it's just about getting things done and I'm learning that like discipline and faith have been my two buddies like God God is like, yeah, we gonna work on you in these areas in this season, Keandra. And there's a reason that, and this, there's just a reason for everything under the sun, y'all. It, it all comes full circle. But like I said, thank y'all so much for letting me be vulnerable. We about to go eat because I am hungry. Please do stay tuned for more talks, girl talks, and just all of that good stuff because it's time it's actually it's it's overdue <laughs> the baby is overdue to be birth and if you just caught it you caught it you know what i mean and i'm not talking about no physical baby okay but yeah god is so awesome he's so amazing and i look forward to the amazing things that he's getting ready to do not only in my life but in yours so yeah just stay tuned y'all stay freaking tuned see what i'm saying if i would have let my feelings dictate how i felt today i wouldn't have got up and did exactly what i know i needed to do you know this is not even it i still got stuff to do we going we hitting the gym tonight oh yeah yeah i got a few pieces of content to film when i get back home it's not over but it's the getting it done that makes you feel better in the end you see what i'm saying and just um being proactive about things and going after what it is you want it's bigger than a car wash you see what i'm saying and I'm, i want to make that known like sometimes it's not about the task it's it's the discipline it's the thing that it took to get the task done you get what i'm saying so yeah stay tuned for more of this that i'm doing um i'm just super excited and i'm just trying to be as obedient as possible no matter what i feel no matter what the enemy tries to put in my head no matter what i try to put in my head and tell myself there are certain things that are just bigger than you and me you see what i'm saying That's 
that's all the more reason why you just have to step out on faith and act and do whatever it is God is telling you to do and be obedient. That was my little vulnerable car talk. And we still got more stuff to get done, girl. Like, I did kind of get a late start on my day. I had woke up earlier and hit snooze. I'm just being real with y'all. I definitely did. And I didn't wake up as early as I wanted to. But we here and we still getting things done. And we still checking stuff off our um, to-do list. And we still making choices. And we still gonna have the discipline. And we still gonna be productive. Go to Trader Joe's because it's almost 8 o'clock and they close at 9. I'm really excited and I'm, I look forward. I just look forward to everything that you're doing.